Unresolved Problem segment tonight, the battle of the sexes. There's some good news. Abortions in America have dropped to their lowest level since 1976, but still 1.2 million fetuses are destroyed every year. The latest stats from 2005. And some believe there's a change in the conception arena in general, especially when it involves wealthy men. A number of high-profile paternity cases have hit the news lately. Patriot quarterback Tom Brady, actor David Spade, and actor Eddie Murphy, among others, have all been involved in high-profile support cases. So what's going on here? With us now, Lisa Pinto, an attorney here in New York City. And from San Francisco, Mark Rudolph, the author of the book, The Man's No-Nonsense Guide to Women. Whoa. I haven't read that book, Mark, because I, uh, I need to keep my women audience intact here for the factor, but uh, perhaps when I retire. Um, so you feel there is an actual change going on here in the way some women view getting pregnant? Well, what's happening, Bill, is it's a result of uh, what comes out of Hollywood, and you just gave three good examples, where Hollywood sets the tone for the morals in this country. You're a culture warrior. You should know that. And what, what Hollywood is saying is that having an out-of-wedlock birth is a cool thing. Uh, Matthew McConaughey just announced that he and his Brazilian girlfriend are going to have a baby. They're not married. So what, everybody gets the idea that this is a cool thing to do. And on the social policy side, family courts basically say to women, you can get cash for your kids, so why shouldn't you have them? And that's what's happening. Now, if the man is a rich actor or if he's a rich athlete, that's the easiest way for a woman, a woman to get 18 years of guaranteed income by getting herself pregnant. It's interesting, though, but this has been going on for quite some time. When you say Hollywood, you mean the television industry, the recording industry, and all the entertainment industry, and I agree. Right. Uh, there's no stigma attached anymore. When I was growing up, if a woman got pregnant out of marriage, it was a huge deal out on Levittown. That's right. Uh, now it's not, and in some cases it's chic. Um, but the targeting of getting pregnant for wealthy people, do you feel right. that's on the upswing? Absolutely. And because, because women know that they, it, look, if David Spade were a penniless pool boy, then this woman, um, uh, Grace, Jillian Grace, would not be having How do you baby. know? Maybe she's in love with uh, Mr. Spade. They what? haven't seen each other since the occurrence last year. Oh. And what she did was she went public <laughs> with it. She put it on her website. Yeah. Instead of handling it privately with him, right, she put it, it on her website before there's I even get, a I wanna, test. I want you to think about it. I'm going to have Lisa chime in on this, but I want you to think about it. It's, pay, it's, it's uh, Spade's fault, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, he, he could have prevented the whole situation. I'll tell you, you know, fair, right. you know, wait, wait, Mark, bonds. Mark, Mark, Bill, Lisa's turn. Go. David Spade yeah. says, I had a relationship with her. If the paternity test shows that this is my kid, I am more than happy to support this child. He's doing the right thing. But that's thing. not the argument, though. The argument that Mark is making is that these guys are targeted. They're targeted by women because women know that they're going to get a lot of money, and it's a it's a mercenary deal. I understand that, Bill, but isn't there a small thing you can buy in a square? Yeah, package that's that why Spade, Spade is is responsible. I don't feel sorry for him, and I think most of our audience doesn't either. But it, do you think that that Mark is right that? Some women are targeting this kind of a situation. It's so cynical and misogynistic because, come on, Mark. Well, wait, wait a minute. Cynical and misogynistic, but is it true? No. Could, I so don't you don't think, think any women on earth do this? I think there are a couple of girls who'd like to marry uh, Mr. Wright and, you know, and they call the to first baby. That they fall? call having the first baby the insurance policy up here in my neighborhood in the Upper East Side. So how can you refute what he says? But says? here's what, it doesn't work as for them across the country in a national level because a quarter of the people who are due child support get their child support in full. The other well, three quarters are I agree. I agree. But I think that this is a. I agree with Mark that this is a growing phenomenon in the United States. That if a woman, for whatever emotional or financial reasons, feels that her life's going to be better with a baby, she's going to target somebody and get pregnant. I. Th I don't. I. I believe there's no stigma against that at all. Well, anymore. women should be having babies because our population be rate, having babies? Popu our population uh, rate's going down, Bill. Lisa, we want more babies yeah, in America. We, we want to keep up with the rest of the Don't you understand that the poverty in this country is driven by that kind of a situation that you just cited? No child support 60 paid? 60% of abortions are had by women who have children already. It's not, it's not, that's the population right. that's getting rid women of Women should babies. be having babies if they can support the babies on their own. All right, Mark, so now, the anecdotal, there hasn't been a study on this that I know of, so this is all anecdotal by you. 
that you think that uh, women are now targeting because it's it's always been pretty easy though to get movie stars and get paid under the table has it not I don't know what the difference is in 2008 than in 1998 well, a couple of things that there's no shame involved anymore, as you said before. And the things that just came out of Lisa's mouth, to, to say that exposing bad behavior is misogyny, that's ridiculous. Look, a woman, you and Bill, you said that it's David Spade's fault. A woman is responsible for whether she becomes pregnant but so and whether is Spade. she remains pregnant. So is, so is Brady and Spade and but Eddie Murphy I, and everybody else. You, Bill. It's 50-50. Barry Bonds blamed his trainer yeah. for, for steroids. That's just as ridiculous for a woman blaming a man. If a woman really doesn't it's 50, want to become 50, pregnant... Bar look, how can I get this across to you, Mark? It takes you two can't. to do it, so they both have equal responsibility, but Mark. A, but, it's the, but, but, Bill, it's a woman's body, and she's the one that's going to get pregnant. She's the one who can de determine that not she's not going to get pregnant. Not buying that at all. Well, I don't feel sorry for these guys. Her too. I don't feel sorry for these guys. They walk in... The situation happens, and then they got to pay. I'm going to give Lisa the last word. God help me. <laughs> Bill, I just think that the sort of targeting of women who end up pregnant by mistake is something that we shouldn't do on national television. So what? Miss March didn't use contraception. Neither did David Spade. Hopefully, she'll be a cautionary tale to others. But to then condemn every young woman who gets pregnant out of wedlock. Not condemning anybody, but it's, it's not good for the child, obviously. And that's my primary concern. It's not good for the child. And if there's a venal reason to do it, I want money, then you should condemn it as well. Mark, Lisa, thanks very much. We appreciate it.